Okay. Welcome, everyone. Uh, lovely to see you all. My name is Diane McAuliffe and I'm the Senior Coordinator, Graduate Employability Programs, and my colleague today, Sandy Dupta, is the International Employability Programs Coordinator who's also joining me, and Sandy is very new to the team. Uh, this is the first of five sessions that we're running for this program, the Career Ready Industry Experience. La Trobe University acknowledges that this event and our participants are located on the lands of many traditional custodians in Australia. We recognise our ongoing connections to the land and value their unique contribution to the university and wider society. We pay our respects to Indigenous elders, past, present and emerging, and extend this respect to any Indigenous participants joining us online today. Okay, so just a little bit of housekeeping. You are welcome. And I see that, um, I think, is it Sarah that has left your camera on? So thank you. It is a small group today, so hopefully you don't feel intimidated and we welcome you to leave your camera on. Uh, if you are nervous or you don't want to talk out loud, please use the chat to ask any questions. Uh, as I mentioned, we have I have put the link to the attendance form in the chat. This is to confirm your attendance uh, for you to receive a link to the expression of interest this afternoon and receive links to any employability career resources that we refer to today. So what is the career ready experience? Sorry, I'm just going to let some people in. It is a co-curricular virtual experience where you have the opportunity to enhance your employability skills, expand social connections and connect with industry. So when we talk about co-curricular, this is not part of your degree. It's outside of your degree. Uh, there are two lots of programs and there's one lot of pro programs that's two weeks and another that is three weeks and we'll go through those shortly. Students work in teams, or you're also known as project team consultants. And you will deliver a project for a client that is either a startup, a small to medium business, or a not-for-profit organization. So we don't know who they are because Practira organizes that side. And I'll tell you a bit more about Practira shortly. So what's different about these career ready industry experience programs? Uh, you, anybody's welcome to participate. So current students, whether you're international or domestic students from any discipline. And that's what I love about these programs because you don't have to be from any particular pro discipline because you all come together and it's amazing how you really come up with creative ideas just because you have different ways of thinking. It's for postgraduate students, undergraduate, whether you're onshore or on offshore, you're all eligible to participate. Once again, this is a co-curricular activity. It is not a part of your degree and you will not receive academic credit. However, there are many benefits to participating in this because, as I've said there, you can talk about your experience in interviews and you can add it to your resume and LinkedIn profile. Just to keep in mind, hopefully you have a LinkedIn profile uh, and we do get a lot of employers who do recruit from LinkedIn and they look at LinkedIn profiles to see, okay, who is doing something other than their degree? I mean, if you're working part-time, fantastic. Put that on LinkedIn, even if it's not relevant to what you're studying, that is still good and you are developing your employability skills. If you're volunteering, you put that on your LinkedIn profile as well as your resume. So what employers are looking for is, okay, yes, that's fantastic. You're doing uh, a degree, awesome, but what else are you doing? So it's about the individual and they want to know what you've been doing with your life. So as a person as a whole, rather than just your degree, because as you can imagine, once you graduate and you've got all these people around you that have the same degree, what makes you stand out? And that's why we bring these opportunities to you because we want you to stand out in interviews and you can talk about different experiences. 
The short program, so once again, employability skills, we talk about problem solving. Believe me, you will be working on problem solving. There's effective communication because you'll be working in teams with people that you've never probably met before. They could be, depending on the program that you participate in, could be students from other degrees at La Trobe, or they could be from other degrees from other Victorian universities. There's effective communication, teamwork, initiative, organisation skills, creativity skills. And when you go for a, an interview, you will be asked most likely about, okay, can you tell us about a time that you did this and what was the end result? So it could be about problem solving, what was the end result? So I suspect that Yes, it's only they're only two or three week programs and they're virtual, but it's pretty real and reflective of what goes on in the real world. So employable is where you're looking, it's beyond the qualifications. So sometimes employability skills are called soft skills or transferable skills, because basically you can take these skills to any job that you go to. And in terms of technical skills, you can be taught those on the job. So Sandy and I, uh, when we started at La Trobe, we got different backgrounds, yet we use a couple of systems that we had to be taught at La Trobe, like Career Hub and other things. So we've got to post the jobs on there. Uh, there are events and there's other systems internally that we use, but we wouldn't know that before we got to um, La Trobe. So how does this program work? So Practira, Practira is the organisation. They are a company that are called Practira. They, it's also a platform. So Practira is the platform that you'll be using during the two or three weeks. So student work, students, so you've got your students there with um, that individual. Uh, you work in teams of approximately four to six students and that's ideal because sometimes we have people dropping out at a late stage and that does have an impact on the other team members. Everyone has a role to play in the team and you must contribute to receive any type of formal um, acknowledgement that you have participated in this initiative. You are the whole team, so there's no one there, there's no academic or anything Every team member, so you've got to decide on meeting times, you've got to allocate duties, responsibilities, who's going to be the leader in the group. Maybe that's something you want to do because maybe you have a bit more contact with the client and you can talk about leadership skills and coming together in your interview. Now we've got, so where I've got the phone there, it's because you can use Practira on a laptop, your tablet, your phone. So it's very easy to manage and you will have deliverables using the Practira platform. So behind the scenes, there will be a support team at Practira and they'll see if you've been delivering um, what you've had to and there might be some milestones that you need to do as well. So student teams, as I mentioned previously, student teams are, if you're going for... Program one, that's made up of students from universities across Victoria. And then programs two and three are made up of students from La Trobe only, international students. But you will be meeting new people because everyone's going to be predominantly from a different degree, most likely. And then for the programs that run for three weeks, you have a mentor. And that is hopefully you have reasonable access to them and they can provide some guidance as you go along. Ultimately, at the end of the two or three weeks, you are submitting a report and you're pro providing like either a strategy or a solution to an issue that the organisation comes to you. And they're pretty varied. So the three programs that we're offering uh, this is program one. So the focus is on international business. Two-week program and the commitment over the two weeks is 25 hours. So that's required by each participant. Remember, you are managing your own time. So however that 25 hours falls, it's totally up to you and you need to work that in 
with your team members so you know what's happening. Communication is key. Uh, and you're responsible once again for everything. <coughs> Sorry. And usually with the international business, it's a Victorian exporting business. So it could be exploring some of the competition in another country. And then at the end of the two weeks, you present, um, you don't have to present it to the client, you will submit a report uh, for the client to review. And a lot of the organisations, especially if they're a small to medium enterprise or they're a startup, they will take that on board. Whatever you're submitting, they will take it. So some of the organisations that participate because they don't have the resources to actually do the work that they're asking you to do. The dates for this program are the 17th of April to the 30th of April, so two weeks. And this program is open to all international students and domestic students. So this is the only program that's open to domestic students, whether you're onshore or offshore, and that is all to do with the funding that we get. So we've got places, but it all depends on the funding. So this is the opportunity where both international and domestic students can participate. Once again, you can be from any degree, postgraduate, undergraduate, any campus. And as it's got there, undertake research on a new international market for a Victorian-based exporter. And then as part of your orientation, which is one hour online, you will get the brief provided by the client. So now, uh, and then obviously the support, you have your team members, you have Practira behind the scenes, and they will provide support if there's any issues. If you have any issues in the team, they try and encourage you to try and resolve those issues amongst yourselves. But if you can't, then you can go back to Practira. And then obviously, myself and Sandy are in the background. So Sandy will chat to you about the other two programs. Thank you, Dai, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, uh, thank you for joining in everyone. And um, I believe that these programs are excellent for your professional development. Um, as I mentioned, um, I am the um, International Employability Coordinator who has joined this role um, you know, newly. Um, and I'm also coming across this excellent, uh, coming to know about these excellent programs. So the uh, last two program, program two and uh, program three, which is uh, offered by uh, Pactera are specifically for the international students. Um, and my role involves uh, mainly to uh, support the international students uh, in Latrobe. So program two is a three weeks program. Uh, and it requires a 50 hour um, commitment from each of the participant. And as mentioned, they are specifically designed for the international uh, students. The dates for this program is from uh, 10 to 30th of April. Uh, the most important part of uh, program, the program two and program three, which are meant for the international students are, you will be provided by an industry mentor. Uh, which will be an excellent opportunity for you uh, to, to learn, uh, you know, and to, to, to be able to work with uh, industry or experienced mentor if you are not getting involved already in your course. So, uh, as mentioned, this is open for international students uh, across uh, the university, any campus, onshore, offshore, any disciplines can join into this program. Um, and of course, uh, this will help you in your professional skill sets development, as Di mentioned. This will help you in uh, developing your transferable skill sets, which which you can add on in your resume, in LinkedIn, um, you know, or or in your in your letter in your employability stage. Um, the next slide, please, Di. Program. Uh, Three is um, also the same like program two. The only difference is the subject. So the program two was about the uh, STEM 
and program three is about the digital marketing growth and sustainability and the dates are from 1st to 21st of may 2023 um, so again this is uh, mainly meant for the international students um, across the university um, and because it's a virtual one so anyone onshore offshore can join in um, again, you will be provided an industry mentor, and as mentioned, this can help you in uh, developing your uh, professional skill sets. Um, over to you, Dai. Thanks, Sandy. Uh, yes, so the main difference is obviously, as Sandy mentioned, the international students and that program two is focused on STEM and you would get that information at orientation and then program three, different date and it's has that other focus the business focus okay so at the completion of the program when, when you've done everything that we've mentioned you will receive an e-certificate which you can hopefully display proudly and just show that you've been proactive in doing co-curricular work okay so here are the dates for the program so the application process and timelines for both programs. Uh, now, the we send you a link this afternoon. It's an expression of interest. The expression of interest is not to trick you in any way. It is very straightforward. We just ask for basic details. And then there are two questions. One of them is what would you like to get out of this program? So you might refer to employability programs. You might refer to you may want to connect with other students. You've got your reasons as to why you'd like to participate. And the other reason, the other question is what can you bring to this program? So in your team, is it your great leadership skills or is it your ability to really think on the spot and just be really creative with your ideas you've got good communication skills what is it that you can actually bring to the team and they will benefit i remember a few years back we had um pre-covid and we even had like phd students also welcome to participate in these programs and i attended a presentation and the research they did were like, truly blew my mind it was like whoa and uh, after the students presented, I was talking to one of the master's students and I said, that's crazy. Like one of them was just talking, he knew his information off by heart. And I said, how did you, how did you do all that in such a short time? You're, you really came across as an expert, like with the team. And he said one of the team members was a PhD student and she helped like really focus on their research skills. So do you have research skills? You know, it's an opportunity to, teach each other something as I said it could be leadership skills or it could be just you know how to approach a team and so everybody can work in a cohesive manner because that doesn't always you know working in a team doesn't always work where it's nice pleasant everybody gets along with each other anyway so so they're the couple of questions that are on the expression of interest form so it's nothing scary very straightforward and we want you to think okay do I really want to participate in this because as I mentioned before if you drop out it does have an impact on your team members and then it puts them under a lot of stress and they've got to pick up the slack uh applications close on Friday the 17th of March and late applications will not be accepted You'll be advised at the latest that your application has been successful, most likely successful, no later than Thursday, the 24th of March. So once we let you know that you've been successful, you will then, so then what will happen is we'll have all your details and then we will send your name, like degree, contact details to Practira. Once they have your details, they will then contact you. So please check your emails to check that Practira has, like whether they've contacted you and that you have responded to their email. So the first point is they want you to register on Practira. They will give you um, a registration for orientation. And orientation is pretty important because that's where you have an hour and you meet your team members and you find out your brief. And if you're lucky enough, you know, you might meet your client. 
but you definitely get your brief. You find out who your client is, you know what you're doing, and you meet your team members. So it's pretty important. And Practera will confirm those times once I submit your details after the 24th of March. So if your application is successful, yes. And once again, that it's really important to respond to Practera's emails. If you are successful in your application, which I can tell you you will be, you can know and you can no longer participate. If you can let us know before the program commences, that really does help a lot, especially like Practera who are putting the teams together then they'll know, okay, this this team's only about two or three. We either better put those team members in another team or we need a couple more members so we know where to put them. So that's the end of the presentation. And I'm wondering if you have any questions. Now I'm just going to stop sharing my screen. In a minute, uh -huh. I will. Ty, Ryan yes. has messaged on chat that there is some problem in opening up the link. Oh, really? But uh, I have just checked it. The link is opening up. Is anybody else having issues with the, the attendance form? I'm, I'm very conscious of that link sometimes giving me trouble. So I did do it this morning to make sure. Um, so who was it? Ryan. Ryan, then we might take your details, Ryan, to make sure that you receive. Right. Ryan, if you could just put your email, your student email in the chat, and then we'll make sure that we send you the link this afternoon. So it's just Ryan at this stage. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about the program? Is it pretty straightforward? Thanks, Ryan. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Well, you will receive an email this afternoon and then we look forward to receiving your expression of interest. And... Yeah, have a great afternoon and we appreciate that you've given us the time to share this information with you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Di. Thank, Bye. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye.